Appendicitis is inflammation of the appendix which is usually caused by blockage and infection. The blockage may result from a buildup of mucus, parasites, or in most cases, fecal matter of your own gut. When there's an obstruction in the appendix, bacteria can multiply quickly inside the organ, leading to infection. For some general knowledge, the appendix is on the lower right side of your abdomen. It's a narrow tube protruding from your large intestine. Although the appendix is a part of your gastrointestinal tract, it's a vestigial organ. This means that it provides no vital function and that you can live a normal healthy life without it. Coming back to our main topic, if you don't get treated for an inflamed appendix immediately, it can rupture and release dangerous bacteria into your abdomen. The resulting infection is called peritonitis. This is a serious condition that requires immediate medical attention. Rupture rarely happens within the first 24 hours of symptoms, but the risk of rupture rises dramatically after 48 hours of the onset of symptoms. Now that you know how hazardous it can be, it becomes very important to recognize the early symptoms of appendicitis so that you can seek medical treatment immediately. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so that you won't miss any of our videos. Abdominal pain. Appendicitis starts with a gradual onset of dull, cramping pain throughout the abdomen. As the appendix becomes more swollen and inflamed, it will irritate the lining of the abdominal wall, known as the peritoneum. At this point, pain gets localized in the right lower part of the abdomen, called the right iliac fossa by the doctors. This is one of the most classical signs of appendicitis. According to the doctors, every pain that is located below umbilicus should always be examined as the pain of appendicitis first. Nausea and vomiting. Among other classical signs of appendicitis are nausea and vomiting. This is caused by the inflamed and swollen appendix pressing against and irritating the peritoneum, which is the covering of the gut. You may also lose your appetite and feel like you can't eat. Mild fever. Appendicitis usually causes a fever between 99 degrees Fahrenheit and 100.5 degrees Fahrenheit. Having chills is also common. If your appendix bursts, the resulting infection could raise the temperature to 101 degrees Fahrenheit or even higher. Prevention According to the National Institute of Diabetes, Digestive, and Kidney Diseases, appendicitis is the most common cause of abdominal pain that leads to surgery in the United States. About 5% of Americans experience appendicitis at some point in their lives. It can happen at any time, but it most often occurs between the ages of 10 and 30. Also, it's more common in men than in women. Let's be clear about it. You can't prevent appendicitis by 100%, but there are steps that you can take to lower the risk. According to the doctors, appendicitis seems less likely if you have a diet rich in fiber. You can increase your fiber intake by eating a healthy diet that contains lots of fresh fruits and vegetables. Foods that are particularly high in fiber include apples, pears, green peas, broccoli, black beans, barley, oatmeal, and whole wheat spaghetti. The most common cause of appendicitis worldwide is the stool buildup by constipation. Increasing the amount of fiber in your diet can prevent constipation and subsequent stool buildup. Hit the like button and share it with your friends. You may end up saving a life by just sharing it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you won't miss any of our informative videos.